Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is The Largely Catechized Life. Okay, so today we are turning the corner into the fourth commandment, and before we dive into it, you'd probably notice that if you've ever actually seen a picture of Moses carrying around the big stone tablets with all ten listed, that, well, he's only got three on the first tablet, and on the other tablet he's got all seven. And it's not just that he's trying to drive everybody with OCD crazy by not dividing 10 by 2 correctly, 5 on each side. It's that, well, the first tablet, the first three commandments are all about, well, loving God. Now follow the other seven, which relate to our neighbor, among which the first and greatest is, thou shalt honor thy father and thy mother. And you'll also notice here that God not simply commands us to love our parents, but to honor them. That he separates and distinguishes father and mother above all other persons, So it's easy here to just start looking for our sins right away. Not just love, but honor your parents. And so I can say, well, I love my folks, but I guess I don't really always listen to them. I mean, I I do love them, but I I don't actually honor them. So I found myself to be a sinner. And I can move on to the fifth commandment, end of story. Um, Well, no. You see, the large catechism tells us something better. The large catechism paints the fourth commandment as more than just a list of things to feel bad about, but actually goes on to explain why it's commanded in the first place. And this is what makes it such a wonderful, wonderful book. Here we actually see God's love shining through those two tablets that Moses carried down from the mountain. We see that God's love was not just given so that you can walk around feeling guilty all day, but well, as evidence that he actually wants to see you taken care of. You see, the first three commandments, they're all about receiving God's good spiritual gifts. Have no other gods. Do not misuse God's name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. All of these things direct us towards receiving that which is good and pure and salvific from God's own hand. And when we look at the fourth commandment and really the rest of the second table, we'll see that the same still holds true. God commands these things because he actually wants to give you good things. And here, here is where you're going to finally understand the fourth commandment, not just as a list of reasons to feel bad about not listening to your folks, but as an understanding of where it is that they came from. Above all else, if you want to understand the fourth commandment, you have to know this. Your parents, they come from God. And, well, that means that he places them at his side. That's worth more than just love. That's worth all of the honor and all of the other stuff that comes, not from your parents earning it, but from God. But the thing is, with that comes the power to work good. You see, God gives you your parents because he actually wants to work through them. This is what makes this the greatest of the second table. This is what it means that God would place your parents at his side. Not just that they are worthy of all of the respect, but that God can can actually work through them to accomplish all of the good.